Yo, what's up everyone? So we've got another image sent in for us to edit and we are working with this shot right here trying to recreate its edit. So as you can see, we're going for a really underexposed look with hardly any highlights. And yeah, it's got some warm tones in there as well, some good skin tones still. And yeah, if you guys like his work, you can go give him a follow down in the description. I'll be putting all of his links down there and you can go check out his stuff here and as you can see over at his website he offers you guys his presets if you're after those go check them out so let's get into lightroom see if we can create something pretty moody pretty dark and pretty soft like this here's a screenshot from his image from his instagram and we've got the raw unedited file that he has sent us so First thing I'm going to do, our uh, image here is obviously very, very warm. Let's try to white balance that a bit. Bring it right back. Okay, let's drop in some contrast uh, highlights. So we're going for a really underexposed look. So dropping these highlights, you can see how that makes it look a lot more like his image as we don't want it very bright around these almost brightest parts of the image and drop the blacks as you can see we get much darker down here and then with the shadows I'm going to keep an eye on areas such as here uh, around there and just see how much detail there is to bring out so I can start to see the creases in her shirt along here so I know I'm pretty close and I'm just going to leave it about there because I'm going to do an S curve here and that's going to add in a bit of contrast and change a few things but you always want to do an S curve because it affects the image differently to how moving the shadows and whites and that up here up here it's different down here so I'm gonna do an S curve okay so it's S curve done almost always bringing down the shadows a little bump to those highlights and we'll just bring up the shadows a bit more and some exposure to the entire image um, we will add in it might be a bit too bright but I've got to add in my vignette I haven't done that yet so leave it a bit extra bright come down That looks good. Alright, so we're exposed pretty well now. Um, yeah, we'll roll with that. Let's drop the vibrance. Drop some saturation. And let's drop down to drop down to the bottom here and the first thing I'm going to do to get these colors you can see we're very green and yellow at the moment we want to be an orange purpley yellow with a bit of teal in there as well so if we shift the blue primary it's going to get us a lot of those tones just going to drop it about Okay, um, we'll come back up and we should be able to do the rest with the HSL. Right, okay, so let's move the yellows to find out where the yellows are affecting. So you can see this background, I think they're much, much more orange. As you can see, they shift from a yellow 
to getting a bit of a red tone in there. And you can just see that there's some greens in this image. So here's that before. There's lots of greens there. They are definitely gone in his image. So it's really warmed them up. They take on that nice almost brown look. And we will desaturate them. And they, they pretty much disappear back there. Skin tone. Uh, oranges. We want to be a nice... About there and we want our red so our lips to shine out quite a bit from the skin uh, oranges so if you shift them so if you go all the way that way your lips are going to be the same probably pretty close to the same color as your oranges or your skin go a little way this way and brighten the skin a bit we could probably do that with some brushes but we'll just put a little bit in there okay things like sharpening we'll just bring sharpening down a bit don't pay attention too much to sharpening because this is a screenshot off his instagram it's not going to be as crisp And we'll chuck in a bit of grain there. There's not much. Right, coming back. So we will do some brushes and filters now. We'll start with a filter. And I've already gone about placing them. So what we'll do with this one is we want sharpening to the center of the image, the most important part of the image. And then we always want really soft highlights. So dropping the whites can help with that. So I'll just do a little bit of that. Then onto brushes. And we've got the area selected already. So all the skin pretty much, what we'll do is up the shadows and this is where you just want to try to create the softest light you can so bring up the shadows a bit and what can really really soften the highlights especially is bringing down the clarity so we want to smooth out the skin a bit but clarity clarity will also take down those highlights a bit see we don't want we don't want too strong uh, whites there it looks quite harsh and not as flattering bring it down a bit and you can see how it really takes down those highlights as well drop it about there and we are good and now i just want to brighten around the eye a bit it's a bit darker around the eye I just want to bring it out so we've already got a brush there good and I think the image could be warmed up a bit so let's just bump this up a bit um, maybe shift purples across there's a bit of green in there and it's only very subtle uh, our blues up the top there look a little teal I think they should look a little more purple
And just because we shifted and played around with the purple tones and a bit more warmth, we sort of shifted our skin tones. So I'm just going to make them a bit lighter because they're sort of crept towards the warmer and more purple sides. I'm going to shift them about there. And I think that's about it, guys. I'm pretty happy with that one. So leave a comment on who you guys want to see so I can reach out to them on Instagram. And what you should do is comment people that have great images but don't have many followers. That way I can reach out to them, they can send in a photo and we can do a tutorial on them. And yeah, go check out all of his work down in the description. He's got some great content. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.